Hey, what's up gamers, and welcome to an exciting new series here on the Bears and Beans channel. For Going Medieval, we're going to do what I'm calling the Ronin playthrough. It is essentially a lone wolf style play. However, the challenge is that our one villager is it. That's it. Just one. So as new ones come in, we can take them in, nurse them back to health, but then we are going to be dirty, dirty bastards and we're going to turn them back in. So that way we are always a village of one. But we're still going to get, you know, that good karma and help people out when we can. But we're a lone ronin. We are an ultimate warrior with no master, right? We have been cast out of society to live a solitude life. I went ahead and did my character build, you know, the seed for the map, everything like that, in a separate video that I will be posting exclusively on my Patreon. So if you are a member of Patreon, head over there and you can see my full build guide of how I created the character, how I created the map, you know, the village, the symbol, every, you know, the map. Um, I already said the map. Wow. The flag. That's what I meant. So all of that will be in a separate, you know, like 40, 45 minute video that I put up on exclusively on Patreon. So head over there if you want to check that out. Now, as far as this character, this is Uhtred. So jobs, you can see here. I've kind of already laid the schedule out. Same thing as always. Priority is going to be mental, you know, his health, tending for himself, um, and then obviously hauling stuff around. But then I prioritize construction, cutting and cooking for the beginning. And then he's a marksman because given that he's a, you know, a true Ronin, he's a solo, solo warrior. Excuse me. That was really hard to get out. So his marksmanship is fairly high. Melee is a little bit high too, but... The big thing is that when it comes to raids, we're going to either try to avoid them by, you know, turning the person over or, you know, whatever, or we're going to have to set up one hell of a trap defense and basically hope that his badass skills as an archer will lend to him picking off the enemies one at a time after he has baited them through a trap. So that's, that's going to be the big thing that we're going to have to focus on here. We're going to have to get our defenses up fast, as well as our housing. Um, we do start off with a dog, and our dog rightfully named Frodo. So that's awesome. We're in a hillside map. General schedule, if you want to check that out. Management, like I said, range, all headgear, all apparel. Actually, no, let's stick with winter. All armors, right? Overview, I went ahead and marked everything for hunting. So let's get into it. Let's go ahead and mark a few of these trees for chopping. Let's get him to get to work. He'll start chopping. Oop, I didn't want to do that. All right, and then we're gonna to need to gather up some hay over here. So first things first, right? We need to start deciding where we want to lay some kind of establishment down. I'm thinking this little cove, we can use this to our advantage, right? We can use this as part of our defense. So why not put in a little house right here and then maybe a little barn over here, make a little L shape. Then we can have fields, you know, some kind of walling system that goes around like this and then have all the fields on the outside. We have a nice little mine where we get some coal, some limestone, some salts, whatnot over here. We've got little batches of clay. Yeah, we'll, we'll be good to go. So I'm thinking this will probably be our best our best point. So let's go ahead and clear some of this out. And then for temporary purposes, we will throw down a stockpile. I don't know, like right there. All right. So there. Let's get everything, everything handled. Let's see how our boy does. So here, I'm going to cancel all these ones over here. All right, Mr. Uhtred. So I'm thinking with this play, we're going to have to be a little bit more micromanagey, obviously, because he's only, he's only one. But as you can see, he is expert level at chopping these trees down. Get lots of starter wood, that's for sure. Let's go ahead and chop these down. This one we'll chop down. Maybe this one too. Just for good measure. Oh, oh, these little guys are being chopped. Good. Random pile of dirt in there, so that's good. 
ahead and take this little guy. Oh no, he's being chopped. Alright, cool. We're gonna need some sticks. So let's go ahead and hack these bushes. Right, it's 8 o'clock in the morning. So he is ready to go. He is gaining XP like crazy. Because obviously he's gonna be doing all the work. So he's gonna be getting all the benefit. So like I said, the goal is to try and see how long we can last with just one villager doing everything and seeing if we can make him into the ultimate villager. Oh no, mishandling of goods. Get him through all that. There you go, hack all that up. Hack that down. Hey, that fell right into place. Nice. So pine is something that I personally like. So we will make sure to use that to our advantage. This food is low. Right now he's transporting everything. All right, taking a lunch break it looks like. Yeah, it's one o'clock in the afternoon. Okay, so I'm gonna pause it right here. Let's start construction of our little log cabin. So two spaces away, uh, maybe three spaces away from here. We got a ramp, so let's go. That's a good spot for a corner. And we want to make it. I mean, I'm I'm thinking kind of you know like a kitchen bedroom, right? That kind of setup. So a bedroom. Four, five, six, seven, maybe eight. That'd be six on the inside. So that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six on the inside. Let's go, let's go eight. And then we can go by by four. Be a nice little cabin. Hey. If I say so myself. Alright, we'll get rid of that. Put in a nice door. And then we'll throw down some wood flooring. Oh, it's only a three. Oh, I messed that up. I wanted to make it a four. One, two, three. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. I know, math is hard. <laughs> I'll, I'll get it, don't worry guys. There we go. Alright, then we'll put a door in right there. Okay, sweet. And then we'll come over here. We'll lay down all the flooring. Alright. Then we'll come to roofing. Okay, so we can't do any roofing yet, unfortunately, because we don't have any thatch. Bro needs to come down here and get all this thatch. He's gonna go ahead and start building. We also need to, before we do that, we need to put in a sleep spot. There seems good, yeah. We want it this way. Let's do it that way. Let's get him to prioritize the bed. That way, he at least has a place to sleep once nightfall hits here in like a few hours. Be a long, hard road for him, at least starting out. Ooh. Way too many failures. Don't like the way that's looking. He's getting to work on that flooring. All right, yeah, he's just jamming. wood from the freshly chopped trees. Perfect. 
All right, you guys already know. I gots to do it. I gots to do it. We're doing a little decorating here. So let's grab all of these. Oh, and then grab all of these. Same thing. All right, we gotta make it look like a proper log cabin. Part of the aesthetic. What would this game be without proper aesthetic? All right, there he goes. Off to get everything he needs. He'll have his house pretty much built by tonight. I wish I could build a whole cabin in a day. I must not be uh, that awesome. Look at him go. Look at that guy go. Man, he's got his shit together. Go get some more. He's going to hit the hay for the night. He's probably freezing his ass off. But, unfortunately, that's, uh, that's the price we pay on this first night. Oh, did an autosave in the middle. we got to get the mushies. got to get the mushies. got to get some berries. thing is getting all the hay. We're going to need a lot, a lot, a lot of hay. So we can go ahead and start planning. Well, not yet. I want to, I want to get everything moved over first. But here, let's start planning the barn. At least as far as, so we want the barn to be lined up with this. So that will go away, that will go away. We'll move that. Expand the zone. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Nice big barn like that. We can afford to go back one more, right? There you go, nice big barn. Okay. Oh, he's gathering up a whole bunch of carcasses. Alright, the big thing we need him to do now, we need to come and prioritize harvesting. Now let's slow things down for a minute. bunch of these. I know harvesting isn't at the top of the list when compared to everything else. Oh, harvest ruined. Boo. Harvest ruined. No, bueno. He's getting a good bit of XP though. He's like pseudo piling it. All right, after this one, we'll get him to take everything back. Okay, grab that, grab that. There you go, bud. Grab that. Come on, grab some more. Come on, you can carry more than that. Ah. So now we got to build you a roof. side. There we go. Oh yeah, that'll make, that'll feel so much better once it's done. Oh, it'll feel like a dream. Let's see where our level is at. Alright, so we're right in that. Okay, so the next 
big thing that we're going to need now is a campfire. We'll put that in there. Well, actually, you know what? We're going to need a butcher's table first and foremost to butcher all of the things that we've brought in. like our kitchen. No, I don't want it there. I want it here. And then research. Yeah, that's definitely not a priority. A small wooden table. there and then give him a, a wooden stool. There we go. <laughs> the little bedroom's turning out already. And we'll put two torches here to mark his home. And then we got some clay. So we can put a clay brazier. You know, I wonder if we can now put this going. So it's just a small table. I wonder if we should put it going this way. way right here put the table there yeah let's do that maybe tight quarters but oh well spot back here for the research table. Right, because that's... kind of awkwardly shaped, actually, if you ask me. There's definitely probably a better way to optimize this space, but... Ah, good man. So he is building that first. Follow him and see what he does. Oh, we got lots of other things that need happenings. Look at him go. Dude is amazing. It's going so fast. Going and collecting all that clay. Building up that other one. Oh, here he goes. What you got now, bro? He's just gathering things up like a madman. Alright, so what are we missing? Not enough wood. Okay. So let's come in. Drop a tree down or two. There we go. Construction failed. Construction failed? Bro. Priority is very high. This is... Wait for that one to be built. Okay. Ah, look at that. 
So priority is going to be very high on these. And they're very high intensity. Auto save. Perfect. Yep, yeah, very high. Okay. Yep. Because we definitely want to make sure that his little humble abode stays nice and toasty. Butchering. I guess until you have time. So obviously some kind of cellar is gonna have to be the next big thing that we tackle. He's hacking up some something. Let's see what he's gonna do next. So there we go. I want him to clean up the inside of the house. I don't know these are just like little tedious things. They're things that I personally would do. to stockpile. Alright, clean up your house, my man. It's like the first thing you gotta do. Clean all this up. Come on. starving but we got to get all this somewhat cleaned up all right so resources we're gonna use everything So what do you need exactly to make a meal? You need 24 cooking material. You need 24. And we're only having him chop up 10. <laughs> so let's get this up to 24. Alright, so he ate. He's good. Alright, it's letting us know that we're missing a research table, which we are aware of. So, we need to squeeze that in here somewhere. And do we want to just put it right there? I mean, might as well, right? Or do we want to put it outside? I feel like the butcher table should have been outside, but... You know, it's our little kitchen area. Kind of makes sense. This is our little desk. Okay, you know what? Let's put it in there. Just do that for now. Alright, he's cooking up his meal. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to do another little zone right here. And this is going to be... Very high priority. Clear all. This is only going to be for meals. So once you've cooked something up, it'll go there. And then we'll come here and we'll take meals off. That way, all of his good cooked food is sitting inside. And it's not going to be out in the, you know, the wilderness, the wild, if you will. Cooking him up some, some excuse me. Wow, he's cooking up himself some food. Wow, that was hard. Mm. 
Look at him go. Oh. oh, look at that beautiful, lavish meal. And he's feeding Fido in the process. Or, sorry, Frodo. Let's get another tree or two going here. Alright, we're gonna need some wood. Go ahead and grab yourself some food. Num num. Eat it on up. Chop these trees. Yep. And then you can take care of that. Oh, it failed. Come on. Come on, you're better than that noise, my dude. Building, building, building. I know this is like so nerve wracking just watching. There we go. All right, so we have research now. Yay! Look at that research. But we have nothing. All right, cooking up another meal. All right, and I'm thinking a dumping stockpile. I want to put out right here right so this one we will have no waste and this one will be strictly waste and oh no we won't do purposes so very high priority very high priority okay so spot for waste and what is it inside oh it's a nice 60 degrees oh, okay so dude is rocking and rolling See, we can always check the temperature here. Look, like it's nice and toasty inside. Freezing gold outside. Nice and toasty inside. And that's what you want. You want it to be toasty. I'd like it more into the orange, possibly. Which we can do that by... Is it this? Adding wall torches. So we can add a wall torch right here. And maybe add another one straight across by the door right because it'd be one two three over yeah sure right there I'll give it a little bit more heat oop auto save beautiful uh, and there he is sleeping Uhtred and Frodo Enjoying their nice 60 degree hut. Obviously, we're going to want to insulate the crap out of this thing for him. So, we'll use whatever the best materials end up being later on down the road. But for now, this is the best that we can do. Oh man, a hair carcass decomposed. Right, we still got that big deer, so that's good. And 6 a.m. Anytime now. There we, there we go. Sitting down, having his breakfast. Grabbing some food for the day. And this, so this is very high priority. Same thing here. Very high priority. So the temperature in here should now be significantly warmer. It's nice and bright, that's for sure. So that'll help it a lot. Putting these right here helps kind of create a thermal barrier through the door. Looks like Frodo's helping himself to some raw meat. Uh oh, where'd he go? Hauling to stockpile. Oh, he went way out of bounds for that. Alright, let's have him. Grab some of these sticks. Alright, clean this all up. Alright, then we're gonna build the start of the construction. Two, three. Yeah, 
Let's come out to here. Oh, it's gonna be a nice big barn. Nice big barn. Eventually we'll probably make it two-story. Right, so let's expand this out to there. All right, and then right here we'll take out. Right here we'll take out. We'll put in some barn doors. So the thing, if I remember... Offers some protection from the elements, but cannot be secured against wandering animals or enemies. Okay. So let's, let's just do wicker doors then. You know what? Nah. Because that looks weird and it's going to drive me crazy. We all know this. I mean, come on. Why do I even... Why do I even bother sometimes, you know? Okay. Yeah, that should work for a barn. So here, let's grab... I don't know, this one and this one. So that means this one and this one. Then we'll grab this one, this one... these two and then this one and this one get rid of them Boop. and then we're gonna put in windows you can already do clay nice okay, and then we'll come over here all right this is just a barn so i want this to kind of be open aired out Interesting. Do it like a lean-to style. Huh. Um. Oh yeah, that would be like big. Ooh, I don't know how I feel about that. That would work for the cabin. I don't think for, for this. Yeah, let's not and say we did. How about that? <laughs> I can just do it this way. Do a nice big deep barn style. Yep, that'll work. You know what? Let me change this up a little bit. We can get artsy, right? Hey, there we go. Alright, then this guy. Ooh. Oh, alright, there we go. Now that looks like a cute little cabin. <laughs> you guys are probably like, oh my gosh, just shut up. Let's do that. I like that one. We'll go this way. And the same thing here. We'll go this way. Alright, yep, because then all of these we'll do this way. And this one will go like that. Alright, because it's still. Still got to keep the vibe. Still got to keep the aesthetic. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's nice. Looking real nice. We'll grab these ones. Do them that way. And this one will go this way. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. And there we go. We got our little barn going now. All right, sweet. That'll definitely help out. the roof off. Alright, there we go. Now you got some shit to do, my guy. Right, 
right, so let's take this tree, this tree, grab this tree over here. Oh man, carcasses are decomposing faster than he can cook them up. Ooh, and a lone traveler comes. Well, hello there, sir. Come to check out our humble abode. Ah, construction failed. That's gonna happen, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and chop those ones down, too. He's gonna need a lot more wood. Awesome. Building, building, building. Oh yeah, our barn is really coming together now. Now it's now we're cooking with peanut oil. Here we go. Go dude, go. Go dude, go. Oh, there's our lone traveler. Until that is built. Bro was just chilling in my house. Let's go do some bartering. Alright, let's see what he's got to offer for us. Ooh, okay. So, ooh, alcohol. Oh, man. That makes us happy. And a chicken. Oh. <laughs> We've got lots of leathers we can give up. A little rat leather. Give up some rabbit leather. Gives us two coin. Pine saplings. Ooh, we gotta be careful of his mass. Right, we're up to four now. <laughs> we can, uh, well, we can't really afford a. There, we can afford a drink. <laughs> one alcohol, just one. Oh man. Otherwise, we got some tallow we can give up. Some more leather, I guess. We can get a second drink. I mean, we got the chicken. The only thing, though, with the chicken is we'd have to be producing feed and we'd have to get, you know, like that's, that's too much that we want to take on right now. Ooh, but we gotta worry about farming, though. Cabbage is pretty easy. So, you know what? Let's go... There, we'll do two cabbage. Four cabbage. And... Four beet. Alright, well, we will get the seeds. We'll have them ready to go. So when the time comes, right? Because we don't need to grow a lot. That's the thing. We don't need to grow a lot. We just need to grow enough for him to then have a pretty good harvest each year. And to constantly be reseeding. Right, he won't take any of that stuff. Otherwise, I would gladly sell all that. So it looks like leathers. I mean, we're basically a fur trapper right now. That's pretty sweet. Let's get another thing of alcohol. There we go. Alright, that's a good deal. Here's a bunch of leathers, some tallow, some saplings in exchange for three beers, and then some seeds for when spring comes. That is a good deal. Excellent deal. Uhtred is probably like, hell yeah. <laughs> Alright, my dude, I hate to do this to you. build the walls up first. Nice 
chopping down. Yeah, we gotta get that roof up, cover up all that stuff in there. Um, which for this, luckily... I can just put a wicker floor down, I'm pretty sure. That should be sufficient. Alright, let's see what he does now. Right, we gotta get the walls and stuff up first for the stability. Oh, come on. I don't have time for fails. Get the walls up for the stability so then we can build the roof. Okay, he's putting all that away. And he's going to bed for the night. Alright, cool. What is it in there? It's a nice 52-ish degrees. That's because it's freezing outside. All in all, though, I'd say whoa! I would, I would not say whoa. I would say we're doing pretty good. got ourselves a barn in progress. He's got himself a little cabin that he pretty much had by the second day. He's got a nice little bed. Got a little weirdo hanging out in there. Bro needs to stop opening the door. Alright, we're racking up some supplies here as you can see. Let's start chopping some more trees down. Those handled. All right, we're gonna need some bushes whacked. Uh, beautiful sunrises. Yeah, we're gonna need lots of sticks. All right, come on, my dude. Let me go build up that floor. Good job. Right, now, how's it doing? decomposes. Why? Because it's on the ground. What? How is it on the ground? So, do these not count? It never. Okay, so... Interesting. Apparently, it thinks that it's on the ground. That's unfortunate. So we're gonna have to just go to a wood floor. I don't know why. And there we go. It's all nice and sealed. ourselves in a little barn. All right. All good things. All good things. Yep, see, there we go. Our little barn. Our little house. Bro is set. So he does need to get these into the stockpile. We do need to get all these inside. That's for a dang show. So one thing I do want to do is I'm going to do another stockpile out here. Five, six, seven, maybe. Or two. I'm going to make this clear high priority, clear all. This one is going to be for saplings. And then I'll come here and we will uncheck saplings. Apple can stay in. No, well, no. Okay. Okay. 
building up the floor now. So the alcohol will decompose never. See, it still says that it's on the ground, but it's not. Is it because the full ground isn't covered? did but some of it didn't I don't I don't understand that yeah that one's weird to me I got it I got most of it maybe that's why okay see then now it says see but this one says it's on the ground I don't know maybe it just takes a minute for it to like catch up All right, well, we're heading into day six now. So I think while Mr. Uhtred here sleeps, I think this is going to be as good a spot as any to go ahead and call it for this first exciting episode. All in all, we did pretty good, I think. Right? We're starting out in the middle of winter, one of the harshest climates. We have a single villager, his little dog Frodo. We started out with literally nothing. It gave us three meals, a stack of wood, bow and arrow, a hat, um, a spear, and a shield. And it was like, go. Uh, we were able to get up a bunch of carcasses, build a barn, build a cabin, get it nice and warm, as you can see. Very well heated in there. We cleared out some trees. We got ourselves our own little private cove now. Eventually we'll build up some defenses. And all in all, this I think this has a lot of potential to be a very good playthrough. So I want to thank you all so much for stopping by. If you'd be so kind, go ahead and hit that like button. Also, drop me a comment. Let me know how I'm doing, how I'm not doing. And if you haven't already, smash that subscribe. And become part of such an amazing gamer community. And if you'd like to stay in the know, you can head over to Instagram. Follow me at Bears and Beans Gaming. I follow all gamers back. And if you'd like to show additional support, you can head over to Patreon or check the link in my description for my merch. But once again, I want to thank you all so much for stopping by, making it this far into the video. Hopefully... This new series will pan out to be as amazing as I think it will be. But you guys are awesome. You're the reason that all of these turn out so awesome with all of your support. So thank you again. I love you all. And I'll see you in the next one.